I don't know what that's all about, but this is part of our new expansion program, which we started almost two years ago. All told, it will cost us about $18 million, and it'll increase our yearly output to 600,000 tons. To handle the increased load, we put in a bigger secondary crusher and larger conveyor belts. We also installed another ball mill, and in the flotation section, the banks have been extended to handle the increased load. The flotation banks give high concentrations of copper, lead, and, of course, zinc. Our quality control is as good as any you'll find. Samples of the concentrate like this are continually being fed into this machine, which automatically assays them to keep an accurate check on standards. There are two thickeners, each about 100 feet in diameter. And our new filtration and loading station is big enough to store 6,000 tons of concentrate. Our new conveyor belt system loads 1,000 tons of zinc ore onto a train in less than two hours. It's taken to Burnie and then shipped to Risdon near Hobart, where it's refined into metal by the electrolytic process. Over the next 15 years, we plan to mine about 9 million tons of ore. In the meantime, our geologists are searching for other ore bodies, both here in Tasmania and on the Australian mainland. We've also sunk a new concrete line shaft, 22 feet in diameter. It's already 1,800 feet deep and will eventually go even deeper. This section of the mine has been in operation for about 40 years. Another thing, the increase in production has created extra jobs for miners, geologists and surveyors. Even an unskilled worker can make pretty good money. We're coming up to the main tunnel now where the trains run. Watch it! Looks as if they're on their way to Rosebury. The Murchison Highway connects Rosebury with the rest of Tasmania and has opened up the West Coast as a tourist attraction. And, of course, Rosebury has the modern shopping facilities you'd expect to find in a thriving mining community. We've got good medical, dental and hospital services. In fact, patients get even better care and attention here than they would in many larger towns. We're just about finished setting up accommodation for an extra 200 or so men and not in barracks either. They'll be living in motel-style units with central amenities. And for married couples, we're building about 150 homes in a housing project that will cost the company, all told, about $3 million.
Cycling is one of the main events of the sports carnival and every year competitors come to this meeting from all over Australia. football, Australian rules of course is by far the most popular game. As you can see, they take their sport pretty seriously around here. An indoor sports centre with badminton and basketball will be another asset to Rosebury. Both the company and the local community are contributing to the cost of the building. And everyone here knows that Rosebury has one of the best nine-hole golf courses in Tasmania. Any West Coaster, he's not passing up the chance of making a little pocket money. The old time prospector here was initially attracted by gold. But when the takings dropped off, interest switched to other minerals such as copper, silver, lead and zinc. 